Okay, guys, so we're doing a walkthrough of the Lodge Casino, which is a real popular one in these parts. Let's get started. Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Man, that smells good. Why does it smell good in here? Oh, they got a Cinnabon. All right, this casino wins. This is best casino straight off. Big banks of slot machines. Nice. Maybe he just waited outside. Waterfalls all day. I wonder if it's actually wet. Yep, that's wet. <laughs> all right. Nice. Whole second floor is all. Whoa. This is pretty big. Okay. Wow. All right, so to get a good sense of the place, a lot of tables and casinos down that way, or ta tables and casinos, tables and slots down that way. The rest of the casinos up this way. God awful carpet. Very, uh, <laughs> it is a god awful carpet. No, no, look at that carpet. Look at that carpet. That's garbage. The carpet is literal garbage. A lot of, a lot of table action going over here, though. Look at that. A lot of table action. All right. That's nice. I think the best part is the fact that this one has a Cinnabon. That is the best part. It has a Cinnabon. Why, you want to fight, Viz? Sounds like you want to fight. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, you want to fight? <laughs> yeah, you you know what I'm about. And here we are at the lovely Ameristar Hotel and Casino in Blackhawk, Colorado. So we're going to go ahead and do a quick walking casino tour. Uh, this is a two-level casino, and it's probably the biggest and best casino in all of Blackhawk, Colorado. And I'd very much like to show you guys all the uh, good action. Let's go ahead and get started now. All right. I think we're set. There's that restaurant right there. Oh, yeah, I got the... There's a buffet down there, there's a restaurant above it. Alright, right on, right on. Oh yeah, I guess we do have a restaurant up there. Good eye cap. Well, yeah, there's a restaurant Yeah, because there's the Timberline Grill. I think that's the steakhouse, because that's only open for dinner service. And that one up there, I can't remember the name of that. We'll have to get closer and take a look at that one. Oh, yeah, we, yeah, we could keep shouting the names, or we could get closer and have a look. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Lots of slot banks, we already knew about that though. They do have a poker area here. Lots of tables, lots of poker. Um, as always, a lot of these local casinos have a lot of nice older uh, slot machines. Sometimes they're a little bit looser, sometimes they're not. Uh, what I do like about the locals though is they have a lot of video poker. Because video poker is my favorite machine to play. I don't play a lot of machines, but I do. And they have this nice atrium up here. Look at that atrium. Kind of reminds me of uh, Luxor a little bit. Yeah. That cocktail waitress is pretty cute. Yeah. <laughs> you found your favorite cocktail waitress there? There you go. <laughs> she seems like a sweetheart. Nice. All right. But yeah, lots of, lots of penny slots everywhere. That's just kind of how these places make their money. Uh, this is also the only resort and spa in all of Blackhawk, Colorado. The other ones are uh, next door at Central City. So you actually do have to go down the street. It's only about a mile away. The other uh, Central City is only about a mile, mile and a half away from Blackhawk. So it's a very quick drive if you remember to get your car. If you just came up here with the bus, you're kind of SOL. you got to wait for a, uh, a shuttle. And I don't remember how often those travel by. It's not quite like Vegas where there's always like an Uber ready for you or anything like that. In fact, I don't think we've tried Uber at all since we've been here, since everything's within walking distance. Yeah, that would have been such a great idea last night. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just Uber down to the LQ. Oh my God. Because we had a really rough time uh, getting some uh, service at the uh, aisle and Lady Luck and all that. I think we had a sum total of one drink apiece before we gave up. Right. No, they quite didn't like, uh, didn't like the filming, unfortunately. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. How we doing? How we doing, Cap? You good? Good. Yeah, we're killing it. We're killing it out here. We're gonna make some money. Um, but that's basically the rest of the casino, honestly. I mean, the rest of the whole place is just like uh, table games and all that. That's uh, that's what we're doing here. <laughs> Gotta pretend I'm uh, taking pictures <laughs> so they won't bother me anymore. Uh, but yeah, that's ba that's basically the casino. It's a lot of slot banks down here. <sighs> 
We've had to sneak the rest of the video here. All right, guys, so that was Ameristar. They can't tell us much about uh, filming on the streets, though, so we're definitely gonna go ahead and get a good uh, good idea of the rest of Blackhawk. Let's go ahead and take a walk. It's a good time to think about a gimbal. Huh? I mean, I think we've seen, uh, we've seen a lot of stuff. I, I wouldn't mind getting a little play in. Yeah, let's just play it in. We're here to hang. All right, going across. Oh, All right, so we're going by Lodge Casino. We got a little bit of video of that. I'll go ahead and splice that in there. If you guys want to take a quick glance of that. Um, also got a Maristar. Uh, we didn't get kicked out of there, but they frowned upon the videoing. Uh, I guess I wasn't stealthy enough, didn't get my shoe cam video. That's what I should get. I should get a shoe cam. Or like a jacket cam or something like that, so I can just walk through. Do you like those uh, glasses that Marshall has? Or, like those kind of Oh, you got those like, uh, you, got, you got like actual, no, you own some? No. No, you don't have spy cam glasses. No, I just have glasses for these people. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. As it should be. All right. What? It's Golden Gate over here too. That one's an interesting one. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's close enough. Going left. We just went through the Mardi Gras casino, and that one was kind of cool. It was a little old school, but a lot of these, uh, a lot of these casinos are old school. But there's not much to Blackhawk down here. Just a lot of the wind. Sorry about the wind noise, folks. I haven't bought a windsock yet, so that's on me. I do, I do apologize for that. Uh, we also went to Mardi Gras Golden. Gates and Golden Gulch Casino too. Mm -hmm. Haven't done much play over there though. I did. I lost uh, 75 cents. Lost 75 cents already. That's right. Top tier, high limit gambling. <laughs> All in one shot, guys. Because that's what Cap does. He bets big. <laughs> or barred. Yeah, that guy might be barred from the casino there. Ah well, them's the breaks. Yeah, I need a gimbal. This is shaky. I don't like it. Alright, that's the next Ace of Vegas purchase. The windsock is going to have to wait. <laughs> We're going to get a gimbal next. Yeah. Alright. Right? <laughs> I enjoy all those things as well. <laughs> I'm sure. Whatever you guys were talking about, I don't know. I heard money. Yeah, so that's got to be the, that's the bus that goes through. At Isle, we're on the other end over here. A couple other smaller casinos, but Ameristar is pretty much where it tops out. And that's pretty much the whole map of the area. Let's go ahead and keep going. Golden Gulch is another low limit kind of casino area. I think there they had $5 blackjack. Most of the bigger hotels, so Ameristar, Isle, and Lady Luck. Uh, the actual hotel, casinos, and resorts, they actually had $10, so that was the low limit. I think Ameristar was $15, but they were a full resort with a spa and everything, so that's to be expected. That's basically Vegas level. Actually, that's Vegas level on the low end is $15. All right, still at Mardi Gras over here. Walking through, then there's our uh, sister property to where we were staying. There's Lady Luck Casino. I had some really rough luck over there, I was talking about that in the uh, casino walkthrough video. Really rough time over there. And then Golden Gulch, that was the one I was just talking about with the lower table limits. That was more of a betting parlor and a gambling hall than anything else, kind of like old school Vegas. It's even got that saloon sort of feel there. Yeah, this would be very... Was, yeah, none of these places would be very out of place downtown on Fremont, except for Isle and uh, Lady Lucker. Pretty big. I think the uh, and I think the uh, parking garage is in here, and then there's the actual casino right there. We're gonna go ahead and get back into the shade so we can see things, at least so I can see the screen. That's pretty much my plan. <laughs> And this is the Blackhawks trip. 
not quite as uh, not quite as shiny as the Vegas Strip is. Not that you can actually see that during the day, anyway. All right. So what are we gonna play when we get back to the casino, fellas? Huh? What are we playing when we get back? We don't know. If y'all want to play roulette, you can do it. I'm not playing roulette, though. I know better. Like I said, that's a horse race. Is a big extra, yeah, we, no, there's no sport. But that's another weird thing. We don't have sport betting up here in Blackhawk, and I find that really bizarre. Um, I'm not sure if it's a gaming regulation thing or a national regulation, but for some reason, they don't have sport betting up here. Yeah, that's going to be a year from now. That doesn't help us now. They have that in Vegas, too, and I guess you can get that MLife app. I think MGM has a sports betting app, but, you know, where's the fun in that? I wouldn't mind getting up the tracks. Eh, I'll have to, have to mill it over. It's a nice little bridge that actually connects the casino with the hotel over here. And you can go in, go in that way. And then here's the parking lot for the Lady Luck. So you can check into the hotel from there and go upstairs. All right, and if there's the self-service parking over at Lady Luck, apparently they don't care much for having a uh, covered parking. Although they have this huge, uh, they have this huge garage, so I'm not sure why they have a parking lot over there. So bizarre. I don't know. All right, guys, and that's pretty much it for Blackhawk. We're coming back up on aisle right about now. There's one more street, then we're back to the casino, and I think we're gonna get some gaming in. But definitely thank you all for taking this walk with us. It's a good time. We're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to see if I can increase my winning streak a little bit. And the rest of the guys, I think they're just fixing to break even. If we do, awesome. If not, hey, we're richer for the experience. That's what's really important. And that right, Stark. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.